Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I'll be reviewing something different. Usually I review electronic gadgets and devices, but today I'm going to review a few lifestyle products. I got some backpacks and uh, shoes for you guys to uh, to look at, um, which is, this is not a sponsorship or anything. I just wanted to uh, review these products because I really like them and uh, I really recommend them. So I have a few products by Incase, and Incase is a backpack um, backpack company so they make a lot of backpacks and uh, I heard about them because um, John Mayer actually released a limited edition of his uh, black Fender Stratocaster that's the guitar he plays and he uh, custom designed a in-case bag for them kind of like a gig bag you know the type of bag you put guitars in to travel with and stuff so that's how I heard about them and uh, became really interested in the company because they actually make really good products so I have um, a backpack given to me by my former employer, BitTorrent. I used to work for BitTorrent. And uh, this, they gave me this in-case backpack. This was back in 2013, and I still use it today. So the fact that I've used it for five years tells you a bit about the quality of their products, which I think is really, really good. Um, so yeah, I like in-case backpacks a lot. Um, this is one I have from my previous company. And then this is the EO Travel Backpack. Fits 17-inch laptops. Uh, highly recommended. I got this one back in um, early 2015, and uh, I used it to travel with basically ever since. Uh, it's been with me on all my trips to Japan, Korea, Eastern Europe, uh, Taiwan. I've always I've used this backpack, and it's a uh, highly useful. I think you can find it for um, about a hundred bucks on Amazon. But a really good, really good backpack. It's got a front. Got a front pocket right here. That's your standard front pocket for smaller items. And then look on top. You got a little smaller pocket here. This is for, I usually put like um, my pocket change in there. And then you've got another front pocket here, which opens this way. And this is where I usually put my travel electronics and stuff. Cause you can usually see um, there's pockets and stuff. You can put your uh, chargers and everything. So that's really useful for your smaller items. And then you got the back pocket here, which is basically for bigger stuff, but also has a laptop pocket as well and can fit up to 17 inch laptops here. So that's really highly useful, I think. And it's got pads on the back. So this way the backpack doesn't dig into you when you're carrying it. And uh, this is really when I was in Eastern Europe, um, for two weeks and I travel like seven countries this was the only thing I carried I didn't have any suitcase I didn't have any luggage duffel bag or anything I only carried this backpack and I think it it worked like um, you think that it would be a small it wouldn't be enough but it actually fit all my items inside of here I tend to travel very light uh, so yeah I like to travel light so I only carried this backpack with me for all my travels I didn't carry anything else just this backpack um, and then there's a uh, kind of handle this way as well. So you can choose the orientation which to carry it. You can carry it, you know, regular, vertical, or you can do it this way. And the reason why is because there's a special compartment in this backpack. There's a middle compartment here, which unzippers like this. And then this folds out to be kind of like a, a duffel bag almost. So you can put all your clothing and stuff here and here as well. So. I find this highly useful as well. So I put all my clothing and stuff here and here, and it opens this way. And I think that's that's really useful for traveling. So yeah, this is the EO, the in-case EO travel backpack. And uh, yeah, I really like it. I've used it for three years so far, and um, I will continue to use it for, uh, for traveling. So yeah, I just find it to be really, really useful and uh, convenient so yeah all right so that is the EO uh, travel backpack by in case all right pretty good backpack um, I can even, even expand this middle section here you can close this middle section this is I have it unzippered but uh, if you're not using it but you can expand it if you're using it for clothes and stuff so yeah I like it um, and then I just got another EO, uh, sorry, in case item right here. All 
All right, and I have another in-case item here. This is my uh, duffel bag. This is the in-case Tracto split duffel, and uh, you can also find it for about maybe 70 bucks online. Um, yeah, I think all my travel stuff's actually by in-case. And uh, this one, you can see along the same veins of the, the travel backpack, has a lot of useful pockets and stuff that make it useful for traveling. So they got front zipper right here. This is where uh, you can put your smaller items and it's got another zipper pocket right here. Put your smaller items in. And um, it's got the normal, this is the normal handle right here. And uh, it's got the main section right here which you can split it. So. Okay, so when you split it open, it looks kind of like that middle section of the backpack, but uh, it's, a, it's bigger, of course, because it's a double, duffel bag. Um, so yeah, put all your clothing in here, toiletries. I think it comes with an extra. Okay, so this one comes with an extra um, kind of backpack kind of handles you can use to attach to it. So you can carry it like a backpack, I guess. So that's useful. Or you can carry it like a normal duffel bag. All right. Uh, so yeah, this is the in-case uh, Tracto split duffel, which I will be using. And you got a, another handle vertically. So I like how they have different handles for the orientation here. You can carry it whichever way you want, either vertically or horizontally. Lastly, I have a pair of shoes. Um, this is the Onitsuka Tiger Bruce Lee Limited Edition uh, ASICs. And um, I've actually had these shoes before uh, since 2015, but I wore that pair out. Um, I, don't, I think this is limited edition, but uh, I wore that pair out because I wore it so much. So I had to buy a new pair. And uh, this is the exact same color scheme that I like. It's blue and white. Um, yeah, these are uh, the Onitsuka Tiger Bruce Lee Limited Edition. I really like it. Uh, it's got this little graphic right here on the front of it. You can see it's a dragon graphic. It's Bruce Lee is known as the little dragon Onitsuka Tiger. Uh, you can see it back here, it's 75th, made in honor of the 75th uh, birthday of Bruce Lee. So that's cool see this side here it is very very comfortable and um, previous to this I never actually wore anything by Onitsuka or Asics um, I usually am an Adidas guy in the Converse I wear Adidas Converse a lot uh, so this is my first Onitsuka tigers but um I really like them so I, I wore these a lot I wore it out and then now I have to get a new pair because they're really good so yeah, these are limited edition Bruce Lee Onitsuka Tigers in blue and white. They also have a yellow and black version, just like the tracksuit that Bruce Lee wore in Game of Death. So um, see, I have a little Flying Man logo at the back here. So yeah, it's really good. Uh, I really like these shoes. The blue and white are a little bit harder to find in my experience than the, uh, the black and yellow ones. But I really like these shoes. These are nice. The Bruce Lee Limited Edition Onitsuka Tiger A6. All right, yeah, and that's it, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed my little review of uh, my lifestyle products. It's, usually, don't review these kind of products, but I did today because I highly like, I highly recommend them. I really like them. And that's it. Thanks for watching.